Hello everyone. Today we're going to be playing Does Not Commute. In this game, you turn left or right to steer a car from A to B, and then you do it again, but every time you do, the game records the last car you just drove, and so eventually you have to start avoiding yourself. And that's Does Not Commute in a nutshell. Postwoman Betty is very efficient, so she always has time to stop and see Mr. Beck. Oh yeah, I forgot. The last guy was Charles Snyder. He's a dentist. Going to his office on Glower Boulevard. Mrs. Mayfield is late to the office. Her husband kept her with constant talk of Yorkshire Terriers. Mrs. Beck is on her way home. She forgot a keycard to the office. How clumsy. But Postwoman Betty is on the way to the Beck home to see Mr. Beck. And now the ambulance is on his way to the back home because there's been an accident. What could it have been? Scandalous. Ice Cream Man Hernandez is on his way to the general store to buy rodenticide. Rodenticide. Rod rodenticide. Rodenticide. Advertiser Mr. Baker drives to work whispering the same slogan every morning. Less emotions, more promotions. Advertiser Mr. Baker looks like a lady with a mustache. School bus driver Miss Santiago thinks the best thing about the kids being loud is that nobody can hear you cry. Best thing about driving the school dr bus is hearing the kids scream whenever you crash. Let's try that again. Maybe a little faster. Whee! A little more to the right. Ah! I'm okay. Leisure driver and binocular owner, Mr. Turner, knows a little bit about everybody in the neighborhood. This morning, he learned just how enthusiastic Mr. Beck is about leopard print underwear. Whoa! Good shortcut. You see that? Garbage man Dwayne has been collecting garbage in this neighborhood for quite some time. Three years ago, he found a crumpled up photo of Mrs. Beck in the garbage can, and he's kept it in his wallet ever since. Really says something about how Mr. Beck feels about Mrs. Beck. And postwoman Betty... Everyone thinks the man driving this car is Mr. Lee, but Mr. Lee is long gone. Lord knows who this man is, but he looks and talks like Mr. Lee, and that's good enough for most people. Widowed Mrs. Clemens is certain that the ghost of her husband has possessed a car, and like every time on this day of the week, she's out to see an expert on the matter. Whee! But which car? Not this car. Julia makes her way to the work in the city. She doesn't particularly enjoy it. In fact, she's thinking of going home and calling in sick today. Also, she's going to go through the barn, because there's a secret there. Yay, secrets. And that was level one of Does Not Commute. Wasn't that fun? All done. So yeah, check in next time.